Hello everyone, it's Corvette Dan. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see here, Corvette Debbie's C5, we're going to be doing a video on that. And it's going to be a little bit of, uh, let's call it bling to her car. So buckle up, click the notification bell, and stay tuned. Okay, uh, before we get started, I just want to mention this is going to be a quick one today because if I do any screen time today, I'm hoping to catch the 24-hour uh, Corvette is doing a live stream from inside the car. So I've got other C5 tech coming. Let's give uh, a sneak peek to something. We are going to be doing a, a video on how to recover these seats. Uh, the 99 has a little rip in the bolster there, uh, so that's coming forward soon. But what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be looking at the uh, rear letters and we're going to be adding stainless inserts to them. I know that may sound simple, folks, but there's a few things that you need to consider. And some of us haven't done anything in the cars before. So we really cater to everyone on this channel. So stay tuned. Okay, so for the tools of the trade, we are going to be using microfiber. I'm going to be using cotton balls. You may be asking why. You want to get something to remove any wax from these letters such as lighter fluid for wick lighters no I do not smoke or rubbing alcohol you also want to something to clean the surface first before any of that we'll use this and then any surface that you touch um, the lighter fluid or alcohol to you're gonna want to re-wax that so we'll use a quick quick wax here so and of course obviously uh, your bling, and in this case, I got a nice set of stainless letters from Mid America Motor Works in Effingham, Illinois. So let's get right to it. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is drop the lighter fluid. Then I'm going to clean the general area around here, right? That's to get that nice and clean. All right. Okay. And now I'm going to start. And make sure there's no wax in any of the letter inserts, right? That's important. You need these letters to stick. Oh, another thing. Uh, something that, you know, you may not hear. You want to do this on a day that's going to be really warm, right? It's pretty warm now. It's supposed to be, I think, 89 today. Tomorrow's supposed to be 92 degrees. So this thing will get lots of time to, um, you know, adhere to the surface. Also, don't keep the letters in a cool uh, place prior to installing them. Keep them in your garage if it's hot, right? And let the let that um, sticky backing, you know, be nice and tacky so that these things do stick. Because you lose these letters, you're not going to find them. You're not going to know. And depending on what you paid for them, uh, these letters cost us quite a bit, if I remember correctly. Don't remember exactly how much, but if you're looking to do this, you know what these things cost. Anyway, I'm going to start cleaning these letters. I'll show that in a second here. Okay, I've literally just soaked a cotton ball in lighter fluid. I'm just going to do this. And you can probably see the uh, alcohol running down the car, which is why we'll re-wax the area after these letters, you know, adhere. So that's really it. It's not that hard, you know, see what I'm doing, making sure I get in there. If there's any wax, it's gone. Simple. Okay, many times you'll find these letters will come with some kind of template to guide you. These don't, that's okay. I'm going to put them on one at a time. We're simply going to peel them off. Like that. And we'll just play arts and crafts. Um, honestly... <laughs> I hate to say this, but a lot of times I've found with stuff like this that when people are having issues, you know, with detailing, like putting pinstripes on and whatnot, and, you know, even getting Ziploc bags closed, get a kid. <laughs> they tend to be good at this stuff. However, I'm not too bad at doing this stuff, so I do not need the assistance of the younger generation, which is good. So I'm going to start, I'm going to just put the letter on here. I'm probably not going to film and do, you know, and do it simultaneously, but I'll show you letter by letter. Pressing firmly on all sides. You want to get them centered. So far this C it fits nice in terms of, you know, 
not being too much space around it. So it's looking good so far. So we'll move to the O. Now we have CO. What I want to also point out too, make sure your hands are clean and be care very careful not to touch the um, sticky. These letters are very sticky, I have to admit. Um, Mid-America, whatever you buy from them is pretty high quality and these letters are showing me to be the same. Okay, we're at C-O-R-V-C. Okay, just want to point out the C is usually two pieces and the two T's are one piece. Uh, one thing that I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the big, big box hardware store and get some um, blue painter's tape. Either that or you would want to get some uh, masking tape from an uh, auto body supply. And I'm going to put a piece of tape over all these letters to hold them in, you know, for the first couple days just to make sure they stick so I don't lose a letter. Um, you definitely want to get a good tape, though, because a cheaper tape could actually peel your paint off. But I do know that the blue, it's by the brand 3M, and also the um, masking tape they use at um, Auto Body Places is also at the 3M. I don't mean to plug anybody, and they're not paying me, but that's the only brand I would suggest. And you want to keep pushing these letters in. With that, I'm going to finish this up and we'll take one last uh, shot and that'll be it. Okay, folks, two more items to note. Uh, one, try not to touch anything to the sticky uh, side of these letters. It's very sticky and will pick up anything it sticks to. So you don't want that. Second thing, the only pieces I'm really worried about not sticking here very well are these two little... E inserts right I don't know if you can see that or not but um, I don't know I am gonna get that tape and I'm gonna pay extra focus on these two pieces here uh, keep that in mind folks anyway please smash that thumbs up click the notification bell subscribe to the channel I do appreciate your time this is Corvette Dan until the next one have a good day